May I request Sri Sri Krishna Kulkarni, Chairman, Board of Governors, to hand over the Distinguished Alumnus Award and Citation Scroll to Dr. Ghosh. Thank you, sir. May I request Professor Nandini Roy to come on stage and read the citation for Dr. Ghosh. Hi, good evening everyone. It's Nandita. <laughs> uh, we take immense pleasure today in honoring Dr. Anindo Ghosh, an alumnus of the 33rd batch of IM Calcutta, for his exceptional con contributions to the field of academia through teaching and research. Dr. Ghosh is the Heinz Ryle Chair Professor of Technology and Marketing at New York University's Leonard N. Stern School of Business, where he holds a joint appointment in the TOPS and Marketing Departments. He is also the author of TAP, Unlocking the Mobile Economy, which is a double winner in the 2018 Axiom Business Book Awards and has been translated into five languages. He is the director of the Masters of Business Analytics program at NYU Stern. He is a Leonard Stern faculty scholar with an MBA scholarship called the Ghosh Scholarship, named after him, and has been a visiting professor at the Wharton School of Business. His impact as a successful educator and researcher is immense. In 2014, he was named by Poets and Quants as one of the top 40 professors under 40 worldwide and by Analytics Week as one of the top 200 thought leaders in big data and business analytics. He is the youngest recipient of the prestigious INFORMS ISS Distinguished Fellow Award, given to recognize individuals who have made outstanding intellectual contributions to the discipline with publications that have significantly impacted theory, research, and practice, additionally of mentoring doctoral students and young researchers. In 2017, he was recognized by Thinkers50 as one of the top management thinkers globally, most likely to shape the future of how organizations are managed and led in the next generation. Thinkers50 also bestowed the Distinguished Achievement Award, nomination for digital thinking in 2017. In 2019, he was recognized by the Web of Science Citation Index in the top 1% of researchers selected for their significant influence in their fields over 10 years, from 2008 to 2018. He also received the NYU Stern Distinguished Teaching Award in 2019. In 2020, he was recognized by the INFORMS Information Systems Society with the inaugural Practical Impacts Award. This award honors business school academics who have profoundly influenced practitioners, managers, executives, and policy makers using their academic research. In 2021, he was named as a top 10 business influencer, along with Elon Musk, Mark Cuban, Sheryl Sandberg, and a few others by the University of Florida. His rise from assistant to full professor in eight and a half years at NYU Stern is widely regarded as one of the fastest in the history of several disciplines in business schools globally. He has been retained as an expert witness by some of the biggest law firms in the world, including Gibson Dunn, Kirkland Ellis, Freshfields Bruckhaus, Sherman and Sterling, and has provided expert testimony in some of the most high-profile and closely watched litigation trials and depositions in financial securities, intellectual property, antitrust and competition, trademark and copyright infringement, valuation, and merger appraisal cases. These include Tinder versus Match Valuation Lawsuit, TD Bank versus Stanford Ponzi Scheme, the Facebook IPO matter, the Verizon AOL merger appraisal matter, the Federal Trade Commission's antitrust case against 1800 contacts, the case of the counterfeit goods against Amazon, and the interactive music streaming royalty case between Apple, Amazon, Google, Spotify, and the Copyright Royalty Board. He is affiliated as a scientific expert with Compass Lexicon. 
He has consulted in various capacities for Alibaba, Apple, Berkeley Corporation, CBS, Facebook, Google, HR Ratings Mexico, IBM, Microsoft, NBC Universal, Samsung, Snapchat, TD Bank, Tinder, Yahoo, 1800 Contacts, and many other leading firms on realizing business value from IT investments, internet marketing, business analytics, mobile marketing, digital analytics, social media, and other areas. He's an advisor to startups in the US, India, Hong Kong, Netherlands, South Korea, Singapore, and China. He's also an advisor to Scale Asia Ventures, a B2B VC fund in the USA. Dr. Ghosh's research analyzes the economic consequences of the internet and mobile tech on industries and markets transformed by its shared technology infrastructure. He has published more than 100 papers in premier scientific journals and peer-reviewed conferences, and has given over 300 talks internationally. He is a frequent keynote speaker in executive gatherings and thought-leading events worldwide. His research has received 27 Best Paper Awards and nominations. He is a winner of the NSF Career Award and has been awarded 16 grants from Google, Microsoft, Adobe, Marketing Science Institute, and several other corporations. He has directly advised or mentored more than 30 PhD students and postdocs who have now become professors. He has been interviewed by the BBC, Bloomberg TV, CNBC, The Guardian, Fox News, Newsweek, New York Times, Reuters, and others. He teaches courses on digital marketing and business analytics to executives in various parts of the world, including the US, China, South Korea, Taiwan, and Europe. He has served as a senior editor of Information Systems Research and is currently serving as the department editor of Management Science in the IS department. He received his MS and PhD from Carnegie Mellon University's Tepper School of Business. Also, he is an avid high altitude mountaineer and has climbed in five continents. We acknowledge Dr. Ghosh's significant achievements as a scholar with enormous pride and bestow upon him the Institute's highest honor for its alumni, the Distinguished Alumni Award, given this 14th day of November, 2022. Thank you. First of all, I apologize for the long bio. I didn't realize all of that would be read. Um, um, I'd like to start by thanking the selection committee at IIM Calcutta for this uh, absolutely huge award. Um, you know, I'm truly humbled, honored, delighted. Um, I'd also like to thank my batchmates who have nominated me. Some of you are actually here, Prashant, Pankaj, Ritesh. Um, this is such a momentous occasion, and it's even more joyful because I have my parents here, right here in front of me. So, um, and there are two other people who um, I would have loved for them to be here: my my daughter and my wife. But when I asked my daughter that would you be willing to come from New York to Calcutta for this event, she told me, "But Daddy, I don't want to miss school." <laughs> so they're not here, but. Uh, you know, needless to say, uh, I owe a deep sense of gratitude to all of them, uh, especially to my wife, who has been a rock and a pillar in my life, um, and she has been instrumental in, you know, pretty much every success I've had so far. Um, so, you know, I was asked by uh, Professor Thakur to offer a few remarks, um, and I figured maybe I'll share a few tidbits about myself, uh, especially because many of you young folks in the room, um, you know, I can share something that I've learned from. So I Am Calcutta was you know, absolutely and enormously instrumental in my life in a variety of ways. First, of course, from the professors, I learned a lot. Uh, but there were two reasons that uh, it really shaped my life. Um, first, it taught me that by no means was I the smartest person in the room. And second, it taught, also taught me that by no means was I the most charismatic person in the room. Okay? And the reason this is helpful is, um, because as I started thinking about my career, you know, I realized like, you know, these two facets of exposure through I Am Calcutta are going to pave the way for what is yet to come. Okay? So uh, let me make a confession. Uh, I am a big fan of movies. As you know, many people watch movies for entertainment. Um, I actually watch it for some learning as well. 
So in the movie Gladiator, when the Roman emperor Marcus Aurelius told his son, his own son Commodus, that he's not going to be the emperor of Rome because he doesn't have the virtues that Marcus Aurelius believed are important, which is fortitude, patience, and wisdom. Marcus Aurelius, Commodus told his father, but father, I have other virtues. I have ambition, I have resourcefulness, and I have grit. And so what that movie taught me is that, you know, everybody's path to success is different, whatever that metric of definition is, right? So to me, um, my first sort of recipe or formula for getting to where I was, was realizing way back early in I Am Calcutta that I will have two handicaps. I'm not going to be the most smartest or intelligent person in the room. I'm not the most charismatic leader in the room. So I have to overcome those two handicaps with other virtues. And I realized that that often boiled out to an old fashioned burning the midnight oil, which is diligence. So pretty much everything that I've done in my life has been based on this formula that 95% of that is diligence, which is working hard, and everything else is 5%. Um, you know, by no means is that the only formula. This is what's worked for me. Um, you know, everybody has their own path. The other thing that I've also learned along the way, which again, I'm taking the liberty to share, given that you know, there are many, many young minds in the room, um, is not to conflate talent with luck. Okay? Uh, many of you will go on to do you know, phenomenal things in your life and your career. Okay? But at every step, when you achieve your milestones, it might be helpful for you to remember that you know, luck and randomness has an important role. And it's not all talent and skill. The reason that's important, at least the reason it was important for me, is because when you realize and accept that fact, which is not to conflict skill with luck, it teaches you two things. First of all, it teaches you gratitude. For anything and everything that you have, you learn to be grateful because you realize it's not all because of you, not by any means. Okay? And second, it prevents you from being complacent. Okay? Um, even though you might be achieving some of the highest pinnacles of your career, it's a good idea to remember Steve Jobs' formula, which is, you know, stay hungry, stay foolish. So every time you sort of decide and you realize that there are many things that will happen to you, not just because of your own skill or talent, you know, um, it at least has helped me uh, in my journey so far. Um, the last thing I will say is, you know, again, uh, in the interest of keeping in mind what I've learned from I Am Calcutta and what many of you young people will actually also, um, you know, go through is, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. Um, so when I joined I Am Calcutta, you know, I was not from one of the, uh, the elite Indian colleges. I went to um, a fairly, uh, let's say, ordinary engineering institution. I did not come from the IITs or the Bits Pilanis and so on. Um, but initially, while that was a bit of a shock because I was surrounded by you know, uber smart people from some of these elite Indian colleges, I realized that, again, if I fall back on those two traits that I realized about myself, which is ambition, drive, tenacity, perseverance, discipline, and work ethic, um, you can actually overcome whatever hurdles society puts in front of you. Okay? So as you become leaders of the next generation, give some people a chance who may not be coming from the brightest or the most elite of institutions, because something I've learned in my sort of role outside of academia, working with some of the brightest minds uh, in, in the law industry, in the VC world, in financiers, entrepreneurs, etc., is people come in all sizes and shapes, and it would be a mistake for us to judge them or brand them just based on where they're coming from. So with that, again, I'd like to th thank I Am Calcutta, express my deep, deep gratitude for this enormous recognition. Um, and and uh, again, thank you to everyone else who's here. I thank you to my friends who've flown from all over the country. Thank you to my parents. And thank you again for being here.